What's up everybody, it's Simon from Lake Up. We're out here exploring Lake Pontchartrain in southern Louisiana. This is a gigantic lake. It's like 40 miles long, 24 miles across. Uh, it's famous because it sits in the kind of the Mississippi Delta land. Um, it's not exactly part of the Mississippi Delta, but um, in flooding times it, it, it could overflow into here. So it's lost lots of, uh, of river deltas. It also opens up to the Gulf of Mexico and goes all the way across the water to New Orleans. So technically, it's not really a lake. It's an estuary. That's, that's really the proper term for it, is an estuary. It's brackish water. It's where all the fresh water is coming out and spreading out. And it's big, huge, shallow, slow-moving body of water going out into the ocean. Tidal surges come in. And uh, what's really remarkable is there is a really 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 diverse uh, number of fish and wildlife species going on in the water and around the water and when I say diverse what I mean is freshwater fish saltwater fish gators sharks all kinds of stuff going on here at Lake Pontchartrain so this is a completely natural body of water uh, there are uh, a lot of authorities going on here uh, because I think it's a uh, five or six parishes which are the, the kind of the Louisiana version of counties if you're not familiar um, all have some variety of jurisdiction around the lake uh, there's also you know the, the Louisiana Wildlife Department um, there's water authorities uh, there's you know dam and flooding control from the US Army Corps of Engineers involved uh, but again this is a completely natural body of water so all we're doing here is making sure that people have the lowest impact on the water as possible and that the water has the lowest impact on people as possible more or less as an angler and an outdoorsman I think this is really cool that you can catch you know a speckled sea trout in the same body of water that you can catch a Guadalupe bass I think that's pretty crazy it's pretty crazy of course probably not in the same areas you know you can have more fresh water on one end more salt water on the other end and that and with this with the tides that's going to surge it's going to raise and lower the water level a little bit and uh, if you're more closer to the gulf of mexico obviously you're going to have more saltwater species that said this entire lake is below the louisiana saltwater line so you do need a saltwater fishing license to fish out here there's also remarkable hunting here at lake pontchartrain mostly in the delta land so in in the freshwater feeding into there are there's like just marshland galore uh, on the kind of north and northwest sides of the lake, which is fantastic habitat for bird hunting. Louisiana is really known for that. It's part of the Mississippi Flyway, and Louisiana is just known for good bird hunting. All right, the famous part of Lake Pontchartrain is right behind me. That is the Pontchartrain Causeway. So it goes from the North Shore, where I'm at right now, Madisonville, Louisiana, kind of area, across. 24 miles across the way to the city of New Orleans. This here, folks, is the longest single spanning bridge over a body of water in the world. Yep, didn't know that. I didn't know that. I thought the Chesapeake Bay Bridge was, was the biggest, but this is about six miles longer. When you're out in the middle, you cannot see either shore. You might be able to see skysc skyscrapers in New Orleans, but you will not be able to see either shore when you're out in the middle because of the curvature of the earth, when you're out in the middle of water, ends at about eight miles. That's your visibility. This is a long, long bridge. That's pretty cool. So like I said, Lake Pontchartrain is about 40 miles across, about 24 miles wide, uh, 600 and 50 plus square miles of playground. Average depth is about 12 feet. You know, for the most part, you're going to range from 10 feet, 16 feet, and even within the same day, that's going to that's going to swing a couple feet. You know, either way with the tides, especially if you're closer to the Gulf. Being such a huge body of water, such an epic playground in a metro area, Lake Pontchartrain has eight of amenities there's not a lot of public space on the open water I'm at a fishing park right now fishing pier uh, is behind me over here it's 
couple fishing spots over here. So this is a public park, free parking, not very crowded, pretty cool place for a little picnic, you know? Uh, it's a little windy, but it's summertime, it's gonna happen. You're gonna have some prevailing winds and uh, we've had some pop-ups, uh, thunderstorms this afternoon. No big deal. Temperature, it's about 85 degrees, humid. It's actually pretty pleasant. There are a couple of state parks on this side, on the north, northeast side. Uh, two state parks, and um, I've been told, I haven't been there yet, I've been told, they're both very nice. Uh, the bigger one is uh, Fontainebleau, and I uh, hope I'm saying that right. My French is not really up to par. It's probably like Fontainebleau, or something like that. For that matter, it's probably Pontchartrain, not Pontchartrain. Here we are. So especially on the New Orleans side, a lot of marinas, private yacht clubs, private boat ramps and communities with boat ramps and so on and so forth. Um, we just drove through Madisonville, saw some really cool documentiums and all this cool stuff. Um, so um, I guess this side of the lake is where New Orleans retires. Didn't know that. Um, very quaint, very pleasant. Uh, feels like, you know, feels like a kind of little beach community, you know, pretty low key. As a matter of fact, this area, all around the lake, but especially on this side, is the largest market for lake homes in all of Louisiana, and it's not even close, so it's no surprise. Uh, on the New Orleans side, lot of waterfront restaurants, waterfront parks, um, sights to see, so on and so forth. Um, you gotta be picky if you're gonna put a boat in the water, you gotta figure out where you need to go. Uh, you can check our website, lake punchtraincom I'll put a link down below. That has a boat ramp map too. Might come in handy for you. It also has marinas, campgrounds, so on and so forth, fishing guides, all kinds of good stuff. On the New Orleans side, there is the Punch Train Lighthouse, which has been a fixture on that side of the lake. Uh, just an absolute icon for over 150 years, like well over 150 years. In fact, uh, the first official lighthouse building was built in uh, 1837 it was commissioned by congress uh, before that they had like some janky like you know uh little whale oil lantern on a on a on a big pole like two poles with a string between them i guess it's better than nothing but now they, ha they got an official lighthouse in 1837 it's been blown out a few times in fact um hurricane katrina um blew it to smithereens uh, hurricane rita so it's been rebuilt and rebuilt and rebuilt even in recent history uh, but it's still it is still picturesque it is still an icon it's not huge but it is cool looking being in louisiana this lake does get a lot of rain at least compared to what i'm used to i'm talking like tropical amounts of rain 64 inches plus a year that's a lot of rain and of course being on the gulf you get the occasional hurricane tropical storm so right now you can see we've got some we've got some white caps, we've got some breakers coming across the lake. Uh, the wind is coming straight across from New Orleans and straight onshore here. And so we've got these we've got these little breakers here. Those are almost surfable, doggone it. You can imagine what this body of water is like in a real gale force storm. Uh, that is a force to be reckoned with. So do check the weather, do check the wind before you head out, and be safe because this much water can amass a lot of force in a high wind. My friends, that is Lake Pontchartrain. We have a lot more lakes coming this way. We're doing a Lake Hub tour of the American South. So stick around if you like what we got going on. Subscribe so you don't miss out those other lakes that we're going to be exploring. Other topics, boating, fishing, camping, all kinds of fun stuff at Lake Hub. I'm Simon, and we'll see you out there.